Alright guys, back again. This is the first video you'll see, but it's actually the last one we're recording, so have that on your sandwich Crazy. and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that fucking mean? I don't know. <laughs> um, I was just going to say a shit meme, but I like that much better. Uh, um, Alright, so this week I'm reviewing Mac Miller's Circles, so rest in peace. I'm, um, I'm sorry, I'm not in the... In the right good, mood. Yeah, not in the right mood. I'm still laughing at it. Put that in your sandwich. Um, yeah, rest in peace to Mac Miller. He was. I've heard very good things about the album. So this is his first and only posthumous album. Mm. Um, it's handled really well. John Breon did such a great job on production, on rollout. Um, just yeah. an overall great job by John. Um, congratulations on putting this out and really doing uh, Mac and his family proud and. Yeah, um, I think this is how all posthumous projects should be released. Yeah. But you know, if he waited a couple more days, he could release it on Mac's birthday. Oh, he needed to release it on the Friday. Yeah. Gets the most traction that way. But yeah, um, I really um, enjoyed this album. It's a lot... It's not... It's the counterpart to Swimming. I wouldn't say it's better than Swimming. Swimming was one of my favourites, favourite albums of 2018. Mm. Um... Whereas Swimming was much more sort of, um, I don't know how to say it, like, it was sort of more, it was sort of more sad in a way. Like, yeah, he it was, was very drowning. Somber. Yeah, he was like drowning. He was swimming. He couldn't swim. Very somber, like you said. Whereas Circles is a bit more positive, a bit more uplifting. It's sort of the yin to the yang oh, of yeah. Swimming. Their counterparts, and unfortunately... We'll never get to see the third part. This was meant to be a three-part album mm. release. Um, so that's quite sad. I really wish that that could have happened. And at the same time, I wish they never told us it was meant to happen. It leaves <laughs> yeah. us wanting more. Um, but Circles will definitely fill the void for a long time. Circles and Swimming. Um, Kids is up there. Um, Divine Feminine are up there. But I think these two are my favorite Mac albums. And if you sort of make this into like a super album, um, it's really good um, as a whole. Um, but unfortunately, it's very bittersweet. The last song, uh, Once a Day, ends and you realize that that's the last song that you'll ever hear. Yeah, like, like the last new song. Yeah, you'll like, ever hear, if you yeah. listen to it in order, obviously. But And it feels like empty. Like mm. you feel like, wow, like I listened to this man's yeah like final work like you don't really experience that and i even said that when i did x uh not dmx xxx tentacion like it felt weird that like this was potentially his last music yeah and even though i don't like him um it just it's, felt like it yeah, was like a responsibility yeah um so i'll play once a day and i'll play the ending yeah okay. um for anyone else that hasn't heard it yet And then personal song. Yeah. And then just this is the ending. And that's it. That's very sudden. Yeah. Um and the the one thing that they did really well and Mac um, did really well on swimming as well. It felt so personal. It felt so mm. intimate. Like he was right there. I'm listening in my room and yeah. he's playing personally to me. You can even hear it just in that snippet. Yeah. Um, and then when it stops, he just like yeah, it's so fades sudden. away. Like he's yeah. just gone. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's um, very yeah. Yeah. The the two albums together felt very. Um, cohesive and concise they really matched up the themes well and you can tell that this wasn't uh, a chop job where they just got all the Lucy's and put them in like this yeah. was obviously worked on before um, and you can tell that Mac really worked hard on making this something and we saw I talked about this when I reviewed Swimming before he passed two years ago now mm. um, on not the old show the show before the old show <laughs> yeah. um, where um, what was it called? The sit. Yeah. And then we moved to this. Yeah. But and then now there was sort of there was, this. Yeah. And then there was also two parts of that old one as well, like where we expanded. Yeah. So like four shows ago, almost. 
um, that he evolved so much as mm. an artist. He's not even really a rapper. He's just a musician. Yeah, that yeah, happens agree. to be really good at rapping, um, and has quite good lyricism. Um, and this evolution into being able to make like a two-part cohesive album, like two years apart, is just such another great step in the right direction. But unfortunately, he can't go any further. Um, but it sort of sets the tone for other artists coming forward. Yeah, that they they need to like step up and. His evolution is probably one of the greatest that I've ever seen. Starting out as sort of like a joke rapper, yeah, um, on songs like Donald Trump um, and and songs like that, to becoming sort of universally recognized as one of the greats. Yeah, one of the great um, artists of this mm. generation. Maybe not um, of all time, and obviously some people would agree that he is. Yeah, but like he's universally loved at this point, where before he was sort of like. He was sort of in the same realm as like Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Where you just sort of listen to, mm. but you don't really take any further than that. But yeah, the the progression and the body of work that he managed to put together was fantastic. But um, a little bit more about this album. The themes obviously were um, sort of similar to Swimming, sort of like the heartbreak, the the helplessness, but it was spun in a more positive way, which is a bit confusing, but, um, Mac does it really well. He talks about, um, his struggle with addiction and sort of overcoming that. It sort of Mm. reminds me of, um, it's like a, not a coming of age story, but like a redemption arc. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think a lot of artists do that really well. Some guy that I talked about, a few weeks ago, Mike Posner is sort of on that redemption arc as well, um, releasing music. Um, and yeah, the instrumentals on this also felt really great, really personal. Like I said before, the production is insane. Um, Breon did such a really good job. Um, Intimacy-wise, fantastic. Um, just overall package, it's really great. I don't think it's to the level of swimming, um, I think I personally like swimming a little bit better, but um, this album isn't far off. Mm. <laughs> um, but one of the, the really good things that made this album sort of complete for me was how he took responsibility for his actions and how happy and sort of content he felt. Like he's like, yeah, okay, I screwed up. I did this, I did that. And there's sort of like a, uh, a weight off your shoulders when you finally admit that you've done something wrong yeah. and that you want to move forward. It's like something washes over you um, and then you just sort of become free again. Mm. And I think that Mac really felt that and it's just unfortunate that like a few months after he would say that, he would sort of fall back into addiction, overdose and die, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it might not have even been from addiction, but we do know that it was from an overdose. Yeah. Um, so there's a chance that it might have been, but... Yeah, it's really sad to see that the this music came before his passing. That mm-hmm. like he made all this sort of positive music, and then it happened. Yeah. Um, but you can tell that this is the crescendo of life, and for a lot of people that grew up with Mac, like Mac's a little bit older than me, but I know that there's some people that would have listened to him in high school when he was very young and then grown into adulthood as he matured. So I'm sure that's a great experience for you guys and quite saddening to see that you've now part ways and that Mm. you'll never hear Mac age into his 30s and 40s. Um, Like a lot of people have with Eminem, um, Jay-Z, even Kanye West um, has grown with a lot of people. So um, great stuff. Unfortunately, we might never hear anything again. We might get features um, and we might get a few things here or there leaked, but I believe John Breon does not want any more music that's released directly from Mac anymore, but yeah. fair enough. So definitely go out and check this album out. My favorite tracks um, for me were Good News, Circles, uh, was it, um, yeah, Blue World and Woods. Um, okay. Definitely my favorites. Go and check it out, um, but definitely be in the right headspace. A lot of these songs, Hand Me Downs, um, Woods, the final track, can make people cry. I welled up. I didn't cry. Um, but yeah, definitely some emotional tracks on there. That's on me definitely as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go out, 
check it out and tell me what you think. I'm giving it an eight out of ten. Jeez, that's big. I like that. Um, like John doesn't want to release anymore. Like ending on a, a high note. Yeah, exactly. I, I do really like that. Yeah, yeah. But good on him for handling it as well as he did. I'd. Yeah, I'm sticking to my guns and saying that's how posthumous releases should be yeah. handled. There's not much you can say about this album mm. without experiencing it. Like, I can't tell you the emotion in his voice. I can't tell you how sad it makes you feel or how um, sort of fuzzy it makes you feel knowing that he's so happy, but yeah. then ultimately knowing what happened. So yeah. go and check it out. I hope everyone in his family, friends... Um, uh, are happy with this are content with this and hopefully they're uh, they're working towards getting over this it's been almost two years now but still it takes a long time it still feels very fresh it does feel very fresh yeah because he's loved and he's looked back yeah. in such a great light that it's like he, he'll he never really go away and yeah. hopefully um, the memory lives on forever but hopefully people can heal and, yeah. and uh, get things done well, thank you guys for watching be sure to tune in tomorrow. That's a wrap.